We've seen videos and we've seen pictures of the African gatherings with like hundreds of thousands of people. And then after you come here to, to Hungary, and yesterday we've seen, yes, a lot of people. It was glorious, but still there was tons of seats empty. Yep. How does it make you feel see that here? Uh, it doesn't bother me. This, it's not about, it's not about, this isn't a show. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not trying to sell out a venue. I'm trying to preach the gospel. If people are getting saved and filled with the Holy Spirit, that's what we're here to do. I don't look at empty seats. I look at, I look at the full ones. I preach the gospel. Yes, it, but it says a lot about maybe the church, that how many non-believers can they reach in a gathering? Well, I mean, look, it's, it's not about one event. So we have, to, we have to take a long view. If you focus on individual events, you're always going to be upset about things. That's good. We look at the, at the big picture. The big picture is the nation. So let's stop thinking about this empty seat or that empty seat. Let's start going to the streets. Let's start winning the nation for Jesus. So good. So when it comes to an event like this, sometimes people go crazy. Like they see great ministers from all around the globe and, and they want to get close. They want to get, get the anointing. And sometimes they don't have the chance to get prayed for. What would you say to them? Well, I mean, it, it really it really just depends. First of all, Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit. So I don't give you my anointing. You know, None of these speakers can give you an anointing. But we can pray for you, and uh, God uses that laying on of hands to bring about impartation. That's fine. I mean, look, if you, if you want someone to pray for you, we're going to be laying hands on, you know, thousands of people today. Uh, one by one, we'll lay hands on, on everyone. And so, look, if you, if you have that desire in your heart to get prayed for, go for it. I mean, when I, was a, when I was a teenager, I would get prayed for sometimes 10 times in one service, you know. Uh, so it's okay. I, I, I understand that hunger. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good thing. I would never try to, to quench that in anybody's heart. But at the end of the day, you have to realize that the anointing, the fire, the baptism, the gifts of the Spirit, they come from Jesus. They don't come from any human being. So make sure you're chasing after him first and foremost. So good. So during this event so far, we've seen a lot of non-believers turn to Jesus, but also we've seen so many Christians meeting with Jesus also. Yeah. So this is part of your ministry, leading Christians to Christ. Yeah. So why does it necessary today to lead Christians to Christ? How well, we, we all need times of refreshing. We all need uh, fresh encounters with Jesus. You know, we can never have too much of him. And so uh, it's not that the people that are here are the ones that are most needy. These are the ones that are hungry. So it's, it's actually to their great credit that, that people want to come, they want to hear, they want to receive. And I believe that God hears those cries. He sees the hunger in people's hearts and they won't go home disappointed.